The following is the Royal Rumble match. Now, the two superstars that drew number one and number two will start the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in the order they drew. This will continue until all 30 superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when you are thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and will go on to face the champion of their choice, WrestleMania! Now here comes one of the greatest of all time, the Heartbreak Kid. Introducing the participants. First, from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid. This superstar wants to accomplish what many have deemed impossible and go on to main event WrestleMania. This superstar better get ready to be pushed to the limits. When it comes to limits, Byron, I assure you, this superstar is equipped and ready to push back. Listen to musical artist on the planet. Introducing the individual who drew number two from Vega Baja, Puerto Rico, weighing in at 160 pounds. Bad Bunny! The question hovering above this situation is how bad do you want it? What are you willing to go through? How far are you willing to push yourself to win the Royal Rumble? Rolls are simple. Toss your opponent over the top rope. Both made it in the floor, and then you are eliminated. So he's proven he can fly. He's proven he can fight. What's next for Bad Bunny? Bad Bunny still wants to prove that he's ready for the main event. There's no matching the incredible electric feeling in this arena right now. A feeling only a one-of-a-kind match like the Royal Rumble could generate. I'm practically out of my seat already. I can't wait to see who comes in at number three. Feeling the effects of that last hit. Well delivered suplex. <laughs> and he sends him into the corner. Get ready. Targeting the neck. Neck breaker. My goodness, look at this. And look who's coming to the ring now. This could possibly change the complexion of this match, Michael. Difficult question, I know, but what's the best strategy for winning a Royal Rumble? You really need to have eyes in the back of your head at all times and be so mindful of your positioning. A Rumble can end for you at any moment, so be aware of your surroundings and try to keep track of who's in the ring. Oh, flying forearm, that'll turn your lights out. We are moments away from the next entry. Reversal after reversal, proving they 
Drew's looking to shake things up here. Getting ready to send one over. That catches Cross looking. Left by the turnbuckles. Setting up an elimination here.
Cody's realizing the toll this match has taken on.
is up. His opponent. Oh, stop. And we've seen blow after blow taken up in that area. Something needs to be done. We have to show some remorse at this point. Some compassion and end this. We're about to find out who enters next. Leaves the knee. And if you're looking for a difference maker, well, he may have just got there. Oh, I heard a snap. Inflicting more damage to the leg. The end may be in sight for his opponent here. Yeah, this match has not been kind to him. Thank you. 
Shawn Michael lifted way up. That'll jam your tailbone. DT planted. Oh, counters right into the bread basket. He's burying elbows in the midsection. And the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Position. Oh, forward 
Jump to the back. Oh my job. And suplex released. And Seth batters the opposition with even more offense. Rollins is clawing deep in his arsenal to try and end. Oh man.